Hello everyone, welcome back to my review show. Today I'm going to be doing another musical review. Uh, since my last time I did a review, I wasn't too happy with it. Uh, as you well know if you saw the review. So today I want to try something, try it again uh, with the dubstep, uh, kind of like metal hardcore. So I picked up this CD, uh, Skip the Foreplay. Skip the Foreplay. This is uh, this is a band, newer band. This just came out this year. Yeah, this year, uh, 2012. So uh, it's on Epitaph Records. I do listen to a couple other bands. It's on Epitaph, and you know. So let's get into it. This band on the cover of this CD, you'd probably buy it wherever. Like I got it at Fye. So I'm sure you get it anywhere. And if you notice on the cover, it would have a sticker on it that says like uh, dubstep plus um, screamo plus something else. I don't even know metal or hardcore. And so I picked it up. I was like, okay, I do like dubstep and I do like uh, hardcore music. So I like them both. I do listen to other other bands like that, like Dr. Acula, um, Arsonist Get All the Girls is one of my favorite type of bands. And Horse the Band too. Let's not forget, that's what got me in this whole phase of uh, electronica, dubstep, techno, metal, hardcore. Now, I got this CD like I said, the last time I got like a dubstep metal CD, it didn't go too well, and I had a I ended up breaking it because it was crap. And so I tried this out, and I gave it a few listens to, and then slowly, at first I was just called rag on it, but honestly, it started to grow on me. And I was just like, okay, this actually has some this actually has some decent songs to it. Now, let's just get in the heart of the matter. Um, there's like four songs with dubstep, uh, dubstep attributes. Now let's cut that down. Two songs. Or the intro and an intermission song so let's cut them totally out of the equation there's no lyrics it's just like a minute long intro or intermission song so really two songs have dubstep uh, metal dubstep core now the rest of it is does have electronica to it now I like this there's e either electronica or dubstep in every song so I do appreciate that but if you're gonna put on the album cover dubstep Mm, the majority of the songs better be dubstep. Electronica or like keyboards does not make does not a dubstep make. Electro keyboards does not a dubstep make. I'm sorry. So um, other than that, I thought it was decent. Um, just a f really some good songs. Now I think with all the bands out right now that hardcore bands really what I'm talking about that just have the same style. Basically, they are a dime a dozen. If you listen to anything from like Rise Records, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's all the hardcore bands that think they can just scream, 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 but in every song they also sing. And I'm just like, make up your mind, what do you want to do? Do you want to scream or do you want to sing? And I just don't like bands that just can't make up their mind like that. And so, in a world where bands like most everything from Rise Records, where bands like that is like dime a dozen, uh, this band comes along and I think brings a little bit more legitimacy to the hardcore uh, dubstep electronica scene. So I appreciate it. I do like it for that aspect. Um, I could always dig into a band that just do, that does scream every song and doesn't doesn't sing. Doesn't feel like they have to sing la 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 vocals every song. So I like a band that can make up their mind. What do you want to do? Scream or sing? So I appreciate that. They bring a little legitimacy to the hardcore scene in my opinion for that. So other than that, man, I like I said, I liked it. It was a decent al It was a decent album. It had decent songs to it. Um, a, f a few of my favorites. I'm just gonna say the two dubstep songs are probably a couple of my faves right there, and that's a uh, mash it up, not smash, mash, mash it up, and champagne showers. Those are the two dubstep songs that I really liked. The other ones are really good ones. Um, I'll, I'll do. I will say the date rape predator song is a really good one. I they. After reading the lyrics, listening to them, they have a message in there. It's basically it's a really good message, like you know, watch out for the guys that slip you drinks in the clubs. And I appreciate that. That uh, itself brings a little more legitimacy. They don't just sing about BS. They actually like care about their uh, audience and like women and stuff. So they're not all about like beating hoes and stuff. So you get, I get tired of that. I mean, that's BS. It's stupid. Stupid to listen to stuff like that. Um. So I like that. It has like a good theme to it. So they all want to. They're about 
having fun, but also taking care of yourself. And I like that date rate predator for the ladies. Beware your drinks, cover your drinks, have someone, have a friend watching you. I like that. I like that. That was a good. That was a good thing. Um, so other than that, yeah, I mean that's it, man. If you like bands like Horse the Band, Doctor Acula, Arsonist, Get All the Girls, or even um, Bring Me the Horizon, uh, which I like. I really like that band a lot. If you like anything like that, you might want to pick this up. Try it out. Uh, you don't have to buy it, just like listen to it on MySpace or iTunes or something. Just like get a feel for it. Check out those songs I just mentioned. See if you like any of those. Um, I think you will if you if you do. But yeah, I think that's it. Um, I hope you guys like this review. Please leave a comment. If you feel like it, I will try to respond as soon as I can. And yeah, you guys have a good, gay, good day and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.